is I think the second day of the cruise third day of the cruise I don't even know child but today is a sea day which I didn't know it was a sea day I was thinking we was going to St. Thomas today we got dressed this morning thinking that we was gonna arrive at St. Thomas later because I do got an excursion plan and we don't meet up for our excursion until 1145 so I did put my swimsuit up under my um, clothes because we are going to the beach I think we're doing a tour of St. Thomas or something like that we went down to breakfast this morning I've been editing all morning because I need to get this sponsorship video uploaded today that shouldn't take long I may have like an hour hour and a half hour hour and a half left to edit and then I got the rest of the day it's only about nine o'clock so So we pulling in the port, St. Thomas. We literally about to turn in. This looks crazy. Look at the turquoise waters. Yeah, now that's what I like, that color, turquoise mm -hmm. blue. Yeah, we almost in here. Oh, he turned it. He just wanted to see the cruise ship probably. <laughs> yeah, they turned it all. They just wanted us to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, about to right. do donuts or something? Oh no, he's just doing circles. <laughs> that looks fun though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All them boats out there just chilling. All right, we about to head down. We just got off the bus downtown and we about to do a little shopping for about two hours of trip. I stepped in a crack and rolled my ankle a little bit. I can't continue. So no. <laughs> We're following our guide. See the beautiful water over there. Hello. We have the best selection in town. It's always a good idea to compare prices. Oh, thanks. thanks. Where are the jewelry district guys? The jewelry. Oh, it's the jewelry yeah. district. That's number 26. Are you from That's the Hammond of the Sea? Yeah. Come for a free gift for drink. No, thank you. No, I get credits for coming in. You don't have to buy a thing. We want to And she's beautiful. <laughs> come, come, no, come. I'll come in so you can get a credit <laughs> to help you out. You have yeah. your own mango tree? Yeah, I got um, mango trees uh, in my driveway. Matter of fact, I got mango. I think I brought a mango to the store. Oh. <laughs> what about watermelon? How? Yeah, we don't really grow it. It's more imported. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have the soil for for watermelon. Okay. Watermelon needs like flat acres of yeah. fields. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it's it's a running uh, running plant. Okay. Yeah, here awesome. everything is like very hilly. Yeah. This is me here. See? Oh. This is local. Here you have, you have all the different stores from Africa. Mm -hmm. The Labradorites, Citrines, the Malachite from Congo, mm -hmm. the Canadian from Congo, the Obsidian. Nobody's gonna have anything like this. This is my studio over here. So this is where I sit down, I do all my cutting, my drilling, I do everything right on this table. I'm also a costume designer, so if you come back next year, April, we celebrate Carnival. It's a big event. That's from South Africa, that's Rose Sports. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it can be worn as a bracelet, which is out of this world. Okay. She can wear it like a treble arm pattern, just like oh, a native. That's cute. And she can wear it like a choker, like that. Oh, she looks nice. <laughs> Dude, you're going to have to go up so high and come over here. Beautiful. <laughs> How long have you been together? Uh, 20... 22 years. 22? My wife and I have been married 23. Oh, okay. My wife is from Ohio. Oh, okay. Five, five kids. Oh, we got five My... too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your lady. <laughs> Fine, boy. Yeah, I work with kids in the school. I do drumming and music and dance with kids. Okay. Daily news, are you ready for carnival? Which is April, okay. end of April. That's me and all the guys. Mm -hmm. That's me in the truck. Red Scout, I've been uh, performing at Red Scout for 17 years, every Monday. 
and that's me again. Glad to say from elementary school, I make costume, I donate it to the teachers and the parents. Okay. The elastic, you'll have the elastic 10, 12 years. Okay, we have one gift box left. Okay. I can hit up the tuck shop. That's what he recommended. Local food said they got oxtails. I'm down. Where are you going? Say open right here. Oh, it's kind of empty. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I fry the wings. Okay, so I got rice and peas, oxtails, plantains, and uh, jerk wings. Oh, we should have got some to drink. The first island you see right here, it's named Hans Lally. That island is 510 acres. There's no water, no electricity, nothing on it. And that island is for sale. Even though I heard they say that Jeff Bezos was there two months ago, he said he bought it. I don't know how true it is, but he was there for sure. So it's named Hans Lally, part of the US. But next door, you see the two islands next door. What are the names? Great Tobago in Little Tobago. Those two, true or false, they belong to the U.S. False, who do they belong to? There we go, BVI, British Virgin Islands. The first one is USVI, United States Virgin Islands. Next door, the other one, that island named Yost Van Dyke in Havity. All right, get people to live on it. Will your ship be going down there tomorrow? I don't think so. No. No. Okay. That island is part of the British BVI. The next big one you see over there with all the homes, that the largest British Virgin Islands. And the capital of the largest British Virgin Islands is Road Town, located at, on Tortola. Tortola. What is the capital of the United States Virgin Islands? Charlotte There we go. Charlotte Amal is the capital of the United States Virgin Islands. Road Town is the capital of the British Virgin Islands. Next door, in the middle right here, look at me. You see an island right there in the middle, it looks like an alligator. That one named Touch K, part of the US. And all the way to the end, the big one at the end over there, that day, that's St. John. St. John is the third US Virgin Islands with 19 square miles and 5,000 people live on St. John. If you notice, on the right side of St. John, you see a lot of houses. But on the left side, it's pretty clear. So here's a postcard. Try a famous banana daiquiri. I don't think I'm gonna get mine's. Um, well, I think I'm gonna get mine's version. Virgin. This is excellent. Right down my alley. It tastes like a banana smoothie. Y'all know I love bananas, so I'm here for it. Cleveland, don't. I'm gonna drink it because we bought it, but I don't, it's too banana-y. <laughs> it tastes like it. 
So we So we buy that Tortola, St. Thomas, St. John's, mm -hmm. St. Croix, St. Christopher, St. Kitts. Dominica, so we didn't been to Jamaican. Uh, hmm? <laughs> Jamaican. We didn't been to Jamaica, the Grand right, Cayman Islands. Islands, of course not. Nice. Well, we kind of been to Haiti, right? But oh, yeah, we Labidee, been, Haiti. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. been to Labadee, Haiti. Yeah. We um, just haven't been to Cuba. Puerto Rico. Yeah, I, I want to go to Aruba. I'm gonna have to find a cruise to go to Aruba. Um, or oh, that might be our bus leave. All right, y'all. We here at. Megan's Beach, I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> I forgot how he was pronouncing it, but um, yeah, so Cleveland in the bathroom now. He about to change into his swim trunks. I got my swimsuit up under my, um, I can take this off now, because she said as long as we keep our yellow uh, band on. I thought it was going to be less crowded in this, but it looks pretty crowded. We're going to go down here and find a spot. Uh, this is the end of the tour, so we got two hours here, and we'll be heading back. It's pretty cold. Dang, I'm sinking. Birds keep swooping down. I should have put my sunglasses on. You want me to get them? Where are they? In the um, in my bag. In the case. You want me to take them right now? Or? No, this is a bad angle right here. It got to be like right this. Now, right? You want me to take those right now? Oh yeah. They ain't gonna be able to see. What else you gonna do? I can't see crap. He's moving fast too. Trying to get over here and trying to make them go up there. Well, what if he don't want to? Leave him alone. Yeah, he's trying to get over here. 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 Yo, we back on the ship. We headed down to dinner. Oh, it's a long day. We just freshened up, got in the shower, and I got my oh, I got it on the wrong way. It's supposed to be this way. <laughs> so, I'm not carrying it like this anyway. I don't like it on my like in between my arm. Just carry it like that. So tonight is Caribbean night. For my starter, I'm gonna just get the Caesar salad. And for my main course, I usually get two because I like to have one as a backup. I'm gonna get the shrimp and the roasted chicken. Then for then for dessert, probably just gonna get a carrot cake. Well, this is the coconut shrimp. This is the appetizer, so I got this and tiger shrimp. Oh, she got one that Caesar mm -hmm. salad over there. This is Caesar salad. Can you what? My bad, y'all. Well, you got you showed me um the uh, appetizer. I was on the phone with Naya because I called her. They've been ordering Amazon Fresh. I be seeing it pop up on my phone. Forty dollars worth of junk. <laughs> they ordered Amazon Fresh a couple days ago. And it was like 90 something dollars, but it was junk mixed with food. But this time it was $40 worth of junk. Maddie in the background, TT, can I sleep in your bed? I'm like, yeah, Maddie, you can sleep in my bed. And then Naya was like, she already been sleeping in it for the past two days since y'all left. I have to go asked after the fact. <laughs> These kids is irritating. So the Caesar salad, I mean, just a typical Caesar salad. You like the uh, shrimp? Yeah, we enjoyed our time today. It was pretty cool learning all the little things. It was beautiful up there, wasn't it? All right, so this is the tiger shrimp right here. So that looks good. Is that rice? Yeah, tiger shrimp, white rice. And some like, I don't know, whatever this stuff is, vegetable medley. It's delicious. She got the same thing, but you got a baked potato instead of the rice. Yeah, yeah because I ordered two entrees. The chicken already came with rice, so that's why I asked for a baked potato. It's the second dish. 
me. Caribbean style. Chicken. Plantains, rice, little roll. So we both got the Caribbean style chicken, but I asked for chicken breast because I don't mess with that. That whole whatever that is, yeah, that big old leg and all that. I'm good. Just looking a little dry over here, but I'm going to just drown it in that sauce. So <laughs> I didn't touch the rice, but that Jamaican uh, fried dumpling was good. That was really good. But um, yeah, I didn't touch the rice because I tore up the potato and I got some shrimp left. Yeah, I just be liking to pick between the two. I'm done. Oh, you ain't give me that plantain. Oh. <laughs> you ain't gonna eat it? Uh uh, it's too sweet. Um, yeah, I eat that. You ain't gonna eat your bread all the way. Uh uh. Alright, so we're gonna finish the night off with some carrot cake. A couple little bites of this. That look good. <laughs> You can taste this little boy just got jacked up by his grandfather. But hey, y'all, good morning. Uh, it's early today. We gotta be, we gotta meet down the Royal Theater again uh, for our excursion. We gotta be there at 8.30. What time is it, Cleveland? 8.22. Oh. So we just ate breakfast and now we heading down. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. Oh. No, it's upside down. Yeah, we just walked through the casino. The gangway is the Must be telling them they can get off the ship now. Well, here's the view of the casino. Smoky. That's why we don't come through here. But they do have a, um, a non smoking casino section, which is where was it at, Cleveland? It's like over there. Yeah, but it's really small. Really small. It's probably about 10 to 15 slots in there. And yeah. That's about it. They, they had a table, right? Uh, they had a one. A, 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 yeah, they had something in there. Casino Royale. Um, this here is called is Studio B. That's why. Oh, we got the comedy show tonight or tomorrow. So they got ice skating in there, laser tag, and they also have the ice skating uh, show. There it is, right here. Non-smoking casino. Look at this. I didn't see that before. I didn't see that sculpture before. You're not doing that water thing, are you? No. Go in here, get our little wristband, sit and wait to be escorted off the ship. This is the excursion that we're doing today. A day trip to Nevis with lunch. Crazy. So if you folks love crazy, you are on the right safari. 
If not, you are on the right safari. All right, good. Now, crazy is not my nickname. Okay, I said I'm going to give you folks a little hint. I want to see which of you have some island in you. Okay, so my nickname, it begins with C, and it's not chef. You could say it's a pastry, it's not croissant, granoli, or crepes. Now, can any of you on board today guess my nickname? Cookie. Man, you got good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so here on this little island, everyone calls me Cookie, okay? Now, the island of Nevis, it is 36 square miles, and the population 12,000 people. So here on the island of Nevis, you only are a guest just once. Because in the next 20 minutes, everyone here on the island of Nevis is going to know your folks, okay? All right, good. So yes, now um, our tour duration today should be like, say, an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half times, because some of the historical sites that the folks are going to visit today, you know, some of you might want to take a little bit more photos, spend a little bit more time. So I'm a pretty flexible tour guide. So it should be like, say, hour 20 minutes, hour and a half. All right? Good. So the first stop, however, it's going to be at the bird place of a distinguished gentleman who born here. But yes, I'm speaking about Alexander Hamilton, okay? Yeah, so 800 yards from the jetty, the Pier de Wharf is where we have the bird place of Alexander Hamilton, okay? Yes, now that building, it was pretty much the same back in the 1600s. However, the government did a little renovation, did a little renovation on the inside. So as we speak today, at the top, it tells the House of Assembly, and the bottom, that's the Museum of Nevis History. Okay? Yes, so we're going to spend like, say, 15 minutes. So for those who want to go on in, because it do comes with a fee, okay, to go on in, to do a little browsing, to do a little reading, okay? So if we have any Alexander Hamilton fans on board, yes, you'll get that opportune moment to go on in and view the exhibits that they have on the inside, right, okay? So these stone buildings, they were built to withstand. Now, back in the 1600s, here on the island of Nevis, we didn't have any cement, we didn't have any steam. Now, what we had here on the island of Nevis, if you dig six feet down, you're going to find a very hard turf that we call terrace. And because the island's surrounded with water, they get the limestones from the coral reef. Now, they will pound it first, heat it, and then grind it to powder, add the terrace to it, and then they get the base, and that is what they use to put these stones on top of each other. So back in the days, they called that the limestone method. Okay, the limestone method. Because they built the buildings that way, because of, of any earthquakes, yes, the building could shift and flex according to, you know, the earthquake or the earth crust. Okay, so you won't break, you won't fall apart. Okay, all right, good. So folks, yes, and then, but we are now coming upon the bird place. Alexander Hamilton. Now it's a little old stone building that we have on the right hand side. Yes, the stone building. Hey, Micah. Yes, the stone building. Now this is where Alexander Hamilton was born. Yes, and he grew up in the wood structure until he get at the age of nine. Okay, and at the age of nine, that's when he, you know, parents migrated. That's when his parents migrated to uh, wow. Saint Croix. It's a mango tree. One dropped on the uh this was on the bench. Nice and soft too. So I asked him, can we take it? <laughs> can we take it? It's hard. So we had Alexander Alexander Hamilton's house. Birthplace. Might be his house right here. That's a house. Yeah. This dude here. Yeah, he's soft. Yeah. Some of them are like found. Davis is divided up into five parishes. Now, for you folks in the US, Canada, England, you might say states, provinces, provinces, or counties, okay? But here we have parishes. So here on the right, we have our national tree. Now our national tree, it is called the flamboyant. Now in other Caribbean islands, they call it the royal poinciana. There's a part that bears from that tree. Whenever it comes out, it comes out green. And as time goes by, now this is what the pad looks like. Now there's seeds on the inside. 
Now, Nevis, as we speak, is a third world country. So here on the island of Nevis, we were so fortunate to have tambourines and musical instruments. So we had to use our resources to get where we are today. So whenever we harvest the crops of the field, then we lit the fireplace, okay, raw sweet potato, cassava, breadfruit, and all the sort of stuff, and we'll sing and we'll dance, okay? So we'll sing songs like, shake, 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 shake your booty, shake it, shake your booty, all right? Good, now folks, there's the seeds on the inside of the shake, shake. Now the locals would use the seeds to make local jewelry. So they would use the seeds to make like earrings, necklaces and also bangles for your wrist okay all right so i'm gonna pass the shake shake around so everyone could get a chance to sample the shake shake maybe sing a song and shake your booty your so sir i'm gonna start from the rear and you're gonna be the first okay pretty crazy kid here on the island of nevis so you know when the nuns come to my island i'll be getting spanking from them daily so as we squeeze why i'm not looking far for the nuns to come to my island take note and look to your right so you have the republic bank once was the scotia bank but no today it's the Republic Bank. And on the left hand side, we have the Bird Bank. Yes, it's a bunch of Bank of Davis. Okay, now going up on, on the left, now there's a white building on the right, that's the Red Cross headquarters, and to the top of the road, we have a Methodist church. Now back on Main Street, we have a sports center, where we'll get clothing, shoes, etc. at sports center. Now up from the sports center, there's the yellow store building. Up from the sports center, that's the Evelyn Jug Store. Now this is where you will get all the pharmaceuticals at the Evelyn Jug Store. Now up from the Evelyn Jug Store we have City Jug Store, Evelyn's competition. Now there's a serious competition going on between both of them, but I'm not gonna tell you folks who is winning. Okay. Now on the left hand side, yes, that's the main branch of the Bank of Nevis. And up from the Bank of Nevis is where we have our post office. <laughs> Good. Now, folks, your school is out of summer vacation. You now, this is what I do all day, every day, okay? So, if I have to share this secret with you and one of you have to rat me out or leave me out, then it's possible for me to be conducting tours without a head. So, I'm wondering what am I going to do with my mind? You know, I'll be like a headless horseman, okay? So, you guys have to promise me that you're going to keep my little secret. Do you promise? Pinky promise? Cross your hearts out to that? I see some of you have that sly smile on your faces. But I trust you folks enough to let you know, okay? Now the hot mineral springs. Now it's the fountain of you. Now as we speak, I visit the hot springs daily. So I'm actually 128 years old. Now because of the frequent baths, look at me. I'm looking like I'm 29 going 30. So I'm saying to you folks, while you folks are here, on the island of Nevis, the best that you guys get the Nevis experience, the best that you hop off, go on down, dip your hands, your feet, or submerge if you have to. So yes, folks, welcome to the hot springs. Welcome to the fountain of you. Now, there's two other Caribbean islands that do have hot springs as well. There's one over in Dominica, but because of the sulfur content, it's red. Okay, and over in St. Lucia, now that one is black. But because the minerals in ours are properly blended, the water, here is crystal clear okay so folks don't be afraid don't be a shy come on off go on down all we ask is a little dollar for the cloth to step your knees put it on the back of your neck you're all ready take off your shoes and let's go okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. dollar cloths when you come back you can okay. pay okay, okay. okay. Um, Oh, you know what I do? Get hotter up there.
It don't feel hotter. It feels good. Is this rocks in here? Is this all rocks now? Uh, no, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's definitely hot. I'm good. Huh? I'm good. It seemed like a doozy to get down. It's a bunch of big rocks. It's all rocks. But that 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 was hotter. Than, than the first one, so let me see. This one. Nah, this one is bad as that one. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, this one that's not hot at all, that middle one. From back here? Huh? From back here? Yeah. No, he said this is where it starts. Oh, from where? Oh, underground. Yeah, it springs up. It springs up. Oh. It's something like 20, 25 miles away from us, okay? All right, and also from the balcony, yes, we have a tremendous view of our volcano, oh our mountain, God. okay? Oh, and yeah. uh, climbing is not so good. I still try, but it's not so good, so I don't go back. I love hearing the history of different uh, countries, different islands. It's interesting. Yeah, it is. And I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is a beautiful view. Beautiful. Look at this. You got all of the islands in the back. And that's called Nevis Peak, he said. It's a goat right there. It's a goat? Where? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's just down there chilling. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. He down there like, where am I at today? Hey. He looking at them like, y'all coming or what? Let me see if I can get him. Yeah, there's one down there by that pipe. So we just came down there from walking in the natural hot spring. So this was a, once they found that natural hot spring, they built this bathhouse here for people to come, you know. Oh, it's get a bathhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a, a hotel that have a bunch of bathhouses. Yeah, the, the hot springs, I only did one of them because the other ones looked too stiff. Yeah. And I went, he tripped or Good. Now, folks, yes. welcome to Lines Beach Bar. Like that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Me too. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, man. Okay, so we're about to eat lunch and then we're going to head down to the beach. He said our package includes two drinks and a meal. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you need one with those with those. This is our waiter. She was amazing, y'all. I was just telling him that I was I was like, I'm gonna leave her a huge tip. What's her name? What's her name? Nayasa. That's pretty. Yeah. And that's her mom over there. A natural Islander, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Are you in high school right now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying I was like, she yeah. looks young. Yeah. Which what what level? What grade? The what? Oh, I don't know. Well, oh, yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah, from it? We have first, mm -hmm. fifth form in high school. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so the fourth is like, that's like our 11th grade. Okay. So you'll be done after next year. Yeah. We just late, left uh, St. Thomas yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Yeah. I have friends in St. Thomas. One of my girlfriends, we live like sisters. She lives in St. John's. Did you go over there? St. John's? No, no. no. Oh, so your ship just left St. Thomas and then came here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. St. John's is, is basically bars and beaches. Oh. A lot of bars yeah. and restaurants. Small. Mm -hmm. They have phenomenal beaches too. Mm -hmm. Like Angola. Like so the nice fish water. is caught fresh? Fresh fish. Yeah, yeah that tastes say, amazing. Fishing is one of our big industry here too mm. yeah. but in in dominican republic it's bigger oh really and okay, okay. A, lot of, a lot of fishing boats and catamarans mm. do y'all just speak english or when we when we talk fast we talk in a little broken oh okay. <laughs> okay. if me and her talking you you would not understand <laughs> watching these people blogging yeah. you got a channel no. You gotta start. You should go you ahead and start. go ahead and yeah, start one. Start you, you, know? you gotta start somewhere. You should try and get the tips from you guys. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you go to college and stuff, that people are interested in all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Coming from the islands and telling everything. So do you make money mm -hmm. that way? The hotel four seasons. Mm -hmm. You guys yeah. should have walked. You should walk over there and do a block. It was there. beautiful when we yeah, drove past it. Yeah, we drove past it. Yeah. So you, could, you could walk the beach way. So when you oh, go really? to the beach, it's uh -huh. right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Walk straight up, and you can enter from the beach. Okay. You can take a, a look around. I work there too. Oh, you oh, do. Okay. That's my little part time. So it would be good if you guys go up there and okay. take videos and vlog up there. You know? All right. Mm -hmm. Of course, you will be happy that you're advertising them. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. People will be scared. Like, you didn't want to say that. Like, why? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna people. bite. Yeah, I love there. meeting y'all. Yeah. I love it. A <laughs> so shy tour guide. Yeah, tour guide right <laughs> It's kind of boring here. <laughs> boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all got the internet, so you see all this stuff on there. Yeah, TikTok. You on TikTok? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a time here, like carnival. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. So y'all don't have like no amusement parks or nothing, right? <laughs> we have a park up there, but uh oh. I have a sister, but she lives in the states. Oh. oh okay. Okay. Everybody in the yeah. state be out, huh? Like so deuces. Up and left, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> what about the mall? No, we don't have any mall. Oh. You lying, no mall. No, no, no. <laughs> we just have supermarkets and some shops in town, but no mall. Oh, wow. So how you get your crocs? You just order them all? Oh, okay. So things here, we have That's to order. Good. Oh, okay. Hi. Hey. <laughs> You have to order them. Is it a long delivery time? Like you gotta wait a long time, or yes, is it? Yes, and you have to pay customs. Oh, oh yeah. So it's an extra charge on everything. Mm -hmm. So the scenery kind of gets old, huh? Yeah. This is, <laughs> yeah. Because it's that beautiful, I, though. Like I won't get tired of this view. I'm yeah, like, I don't think I can get tired of it. Okay, so we tried to go to the Four Seasons uh, Hotel to the ATM, but they wouldn't let us. The security said we had to be dining there. She about to take us to um, another MT ATM that's down the road here. Don't have a fancy car yet. <laughs> she said she don't have a fancy car yet. <laughs> it's coming, girl. <laughs> How are you? 
I'm just gonna take some people to look around. All right. When was this built? Was it? Is it? Oh, recent? 1991. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But it was closed because of a hurricane, and it had closed in 2007 or 2008, somewhere around there, and then it reopened back 2010. Beautiful. Is that an infinity pool back there? Oh, this is the front desk of the Four Seasons. It's nice. How you ladies doing? How you doing? The elegance, fine jewelry and timepieces or watches and stuff like that. This is cool. There's an infinity pool which leads out to the ocean. That's nice. It's a nice view right there. And catch up with them. I don't know where they went. A little hideaway down there. It's nice. That's nice. Yeah, this is nice. She said they have three pools here and an adult pool. This is a family pool. And it's another pool around here. You can see the island we came from, St. Kitts, over there. It's a nice view from the Four Seasons. She said that they bring people straight from St. Kitts to the dock right here, straight to the Four Seasons. Obviously you have the mountain view from here also. It's a little different. We did it in our currency, so they can get more out of it. They can get well, more it's gonna be the same, because if they exchange it, yeah, because it's, um, it's $3 to them. All, all the kids love to go look at the monkeys, because they don't have a monkey tour in the afternoon at the hotel. Yeah. Where they take them in the golf cart and they do a tour and go look at all the monkeys. They would mm. come all up here. Ours say deer crossing. So that's why I'm like, wait, monkey crossing? It's oh, usually yeah. deer. Yeah. yeah. We don't have deers here. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. You see a monkey? Yeah, yep. He's right here between the bushes. Right. Yeah, he's he's hiding right. He's running. <laughs> he's like, I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Everybody packing up. About to head back. We just not getting here, but that's cool. I didn't even pack a swimsuit or anything because I really didn't plan on getting in the water. I'm all beached out. <laughs> we have been to the beach two times. So we've been in the pool on the ship, so I'm all watered out. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Cleveland about to get me a pina colada real quick because that look good. All right, Cookie, where you at? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> when I, I was saying yours. Because I was on and on. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, this is really good. It's the best pina colada I have. This is fresh honest. and creamy. Yes. Like, it's, like it's different. Well, that's something coming from Cleveland if he's saying that's good because he usually don't like the milky kind of uh, drinks. First of all, he don't like yeah, frozen or slushy yeah. drinks, and especially if it's white. I mean, well, it's not white, but milky looking. Here he comes. Oh, About crazy. 10 minutes late. <laughs> he said right on time. Hey y'all, hey, so I just came on here real quick to end the vlog and give y'all a little recap of the two islands that we went to st thomas and st kitts i'm trying to make this quick because we're about to head out today is a sea day so i'm gonna pick y'all back up but um yeah today is a sea day and we're about to get out here and probably chill by the pool again um i want to get on this slide here i don't know I want to get on it but then i don't because i don't know i'm scared i'm gonna get stuck or something i'm rock climbing that's out i would like to do it but i don't think i got the the stamina to pull myself up so both islands we did uh, a island tour I always like to do those excursions or type of excursions my main thing when I'm looking for an excursion is to do a tour of the islands cookie was amazing I definitely would recommend him I know you can't pick him but I would definitely recommend that excursion so maybe you would get him and luckily we decided to choose the open well it wasn't open top the unair conditioned vehicle because we got a choice to choose to ride in the van or the unair conditioned vehicle hey we on the island we want to be as natural as possible we don't have time for the luxury to be sitting in clothes up under some air so that's what we did and i'm so glad we did because we got cookie so let me turn this tv down some so St. Thomas, the tour was good. It wasn't good as Cookie. Well, the guide wasn't as good as Cookie. The guide wasn't as 
fun as Cookie. He was knowledgeable. He told us a lot about the island or whatever, but he wasn't as, you know, fun. Yeah, we toured the island. We ate some good food. The Mexican food was good. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The oxtails and rice that we got from that restaurant, I forgot the name of it. It wasn't good. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't flavorful. And I'm used to, when I eat that type of food, I'm used to flavor. It was just like missing that oomph. But like the wings, they were okay. I mean, I had better at, um, I was gonna say Benny Hanna. Bahama Breeze, I love their jerk wings. Still missing the Caribbean flavors and the gravy and everything. It was very little gravy. Now the meat was um, a nice size. It was nice size chunks of the meat and it was meaty, but yeah, the flavors just wasn't there. Now we went to the Mexican restaurant. Hey y'all. I was telling them about the, um, the, uh, the food. <laughs> um, what, on the island? Yeah, we're at St. Thomas. Well, I ain't thinking about the food right now. The first thing I'm talking about is getting ate up by no seasons, whatever the heck that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we was there eating at this one restaurant, and I kept feeling like that was the Mexican some, restaurant. Some kept itching or whatever. I'm like, why am I itching? Then I thought like, oh crap, mosquitoes. But I'm like, it's the daytime. It shouldn't be no mosquitoes out here. But I couldn't find the mosquitoes, so I just kept itching, kept itching. The next thing I know, I got all these bumps and crap. So now they still here. It's like I got more than I thought. So I started looking online and then that's the first thing it says is no see -ums. I guess it's supposed to be some bugs that eat you up and leave these super itchy bumps. It felt that like- That you uh, can't see. The, no, you can see the, the bugs, you can't see the bumps you can see. That's what I'm saying, yeah, the yeah, bugs yeah, you can't yeah, see. Yeah, that's what yeah, they call no see -ums. You know, like N-O-C ums. So, <laughs> but I got all these bumps everywhere. I got like yeah. eight bumps on my arms, all over my legs. He was thinking it was bed bugs. Yeah, I'm like, bro, let me- Cause, it, cause it, he cause, started tearing up this bed. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like what? <laughs> He didn't see any, and then that's when he started to look it up. Like, yeah. okay, then must because they didn't, the bumps didn't come right away. They don't come right away. It just itched real bad. I'm like, where's the mosquito bump? And then now is yeah, he covered bumps his all back. over the place. <laughs> it's covered. Yeah, so he was tearing me up, and I didn't know. I knew something was biting me. I just didn't know what it was. So I just went on some, uh, you know, U.S. Virgin Islands, some forums, and it was a bunch of people talking about getting some type of spray with DEET in it, D E E T, whatever that is, and it's supposed to keep these no seams up off of you, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Because a wonder of the seas, we go to St. Martin. Oh, yeah. We go to St. Martin back, yeah. and we go back to St. Thomas. So, because yeah, I done ripped all of them off now because I keep scratching. They all, you know, I yeah. tore them all open at this point. He real dramatic when it comes to bugs I, I don't and biting like them. He hated it. Like, he know. be like doing the most. And he be so dramatic. Like, if, man, what is going on? Like, he be. <laughs> I just don't like mosquitoes. So when they get dark or anywhere near a sign of mosquitoes, I'm out because she don't ever get bit. Like, but they attack yeah. me like crazy. So of course you ain't gonna say that. Yeah, like we, like we'll go out to watch the fireworks by the house, like mm -hmm. on the porch or something. I come back seven mosquito bumps her. I ain't seen no mosquitoes. Yeah, right. So it's like, yeah, because they're eating me up. No. So that's the thing. I'm like a magnet or something. So if I feel like my hair blowing in the wind, I'm looking to see if it's something I can kill. Yeah, and he'd be loud. So, like, man, what is that? What's like he be all like <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't be that loud. Oh so, yeah, but everything else is cool. <laughs> he got so much he had to get that out of the way. Well, I like the like the people are all nice to each other. You know, the whole islands are all nice. St. Thomas, we did an um, island tour and um, mm -hmm. they dropped us off downtown. And it's like the whole first street is full of jewelry, yeah, jewelry, jewelry and stores. And That's stuff. what they took us in. Like heavy, they, heavy solicitation of jewelry. Yeah. Everybody trying to get you to buy all this expensive jewelry. I'm just like, I don't want to be rude, yeah. but I'm like, I'm not interested in none of this jewelry. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I'm not a jewelry person you at all. Try. And I, especially not expensive jewelry. It's just not my thing. And we came across the guy that we bought the bracelet from. Yeah. Now I wanted to support you know, none of that's my style either. So that's why I'm going to give that away to one of y'all. So if y'all want that bracelet, baby, go get it. So I can show them to real quick. So yeah, if one of y'all want this bracelet, is that the one you can use as a bracelet or a necklace? I don't know, I think so. 
Cause he was showing me I could wear it as a necklace, a bracelet, or like right here that was that on the arm. Thing. Yeah, I think that might I, the one I bought might have not have been it. But this, the one this I, was more of a bracelet. Yeah, that other one was like bigger. But like I said, I wanted to support him. I think he said he owns that with him, his daughter, and his wife. So I just couldn't leave up out of there without buying anything. Yes, this. So yeah, so I just got this, Can and he makes it. It's all handmade. Yeah. No, it can be used as both. It can go yeah. around your neck. Yeah, because it uh, it's long enough. Yeah, it go around your neck, your wrist, your ankle, yeah, your, your your bicep. Like, you mm -hmm. know how girls wear that stuff? Yeah, so yeah. if any one of you guys want this, let's leave a comment down below or whatever. And then I'll pick one of y'all and then, um, you know, I'll send it to you. So he recommended the... Uh, restaurant that we went to that yeah. served the oxtails and the jerk chicken. Oh, Left after our... that, that's where we stopped at the restaurant where them no see ate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after that, we was kind of still hungry because we were just nitpicking at yeah. the other food. And I didn't want to get full anyway, so all I got was those jerk wings. Yeah. And I don't really mess with bones and chicken, so yeah, I Yeah, he don't really eat it. the oxtails and pee. Oh, that's not nah, his thing nah, anyway, nah, so... Nah. Um, but he wanted to support too, so he wanted yeah. to get something, so he got the jerk wings. Yeah. And he don't even really eat wings like that either, no. but like I said, he just wanted to get something. Not with bones in it, I need that yeah. boneless. <laughs> yeah, so we were kind of still hungry, and plus we wanted to try, you know, when we different go to these things. different countries, we be, you know, we be wanting to eat. So we stopped at this Mexican uh, restaurant, and we got fish tacos, just three fish tacos, and it was pretty good. It was really good. He got a drink, what was that? Um, what they call it again? Um. Uh, it was a headache, not headache, but uh, painkiller. Pain yeah, pain I said headache. Right, you yeah, think what, what it do with yeah. the painkiller. Yeah. Cheddar sell that same drink, yeah. but it's just like in a different cup and yeah. uh, or glass. Was it better? Which, which one you Cheddar's can't remember? Is oh, Cheddar's yeah, is better. But see, okay. that's the thing about the. Remember, I was sick all night too. And I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it was. If it was something I ate on the ship, or if mm -hmm. it's something I ate there. Mm -hmm. But I was up all night with the, you know, my stomach was doing, guts. A, doing a bubble guts. Mm -hmm. I had like a big bubble right here. I couldn't breathe. Like all this like pressure and all that. So I was up all night going to the bathroom. So I don't know if it was that drink or the first. I thought I had, I'm like, bro, do I got malaria? Because remember, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was getting ate up by the mosquitoes. What I thought was mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I got back, I started getting sick. So yeah. I'm like. Oh, and I had the chills. Yeah. I was like all shivering and kind like, bro. Like, so I, I was you know, Google how you scared in the mug. I'm on <laughs> Google like chills, bumps, <laughs> mosquitoes, birds, and I was like malaria, bro. Like I need a doctor in this mug. So after that, I was straight in the morning though. It just yeah, it just went, went away. away. So. I but he like, was man, up all night. Yeah. So you know, I was asleep. I was. I didn't even know he was nah. up all night. When I woke up, he was like, "Are you? What you asked me? Was I cold?" Yeah. No. Yeah. I said, "Does your stomach hurt? Are you cold?" Yeah. yeah. I was, Are you cold? Because I put on a sweater. Yeah. I was like, "No, I'm freezing, good. Like, bro, and I ain't, I don't get cold like that. Yeah. So I'm like, I knew something was wrong, but. And we was trying to think of the what he ate that I didn't eat, yeah. and the only thing was that drink. The drink, as I didn't yeah, get a drink, yeah. I just drank water, and it was something else. The, it was. I was talking about the stuff on the ship. I had like ice cream. Oh or yeah. Oh yeah. And it could have been from. Yeah, because I, I can't last really do night dairy and hardcore like that either. Mm -hmm. I can't like do a lot of ice cream or something like that. Yeah. So I. I so yeah, it, it just could have been, been the, yeah, the ice cream because he yeah. can't do dairy like that. Nah. So mm -hmm. we'll never know what it was, but. Yeah. He's good now. I went. It went away. It, it just went away was up after all that night. night. Yeah, after that <laughs> night when I woke up in the morning, I was fine. I was eating breakfast. I didn't feel yeah. sick or nothing like that. So we woke up that morning, and he was tied in a mug. So and we had to be down there at the um, in the theater for our next excursion, mm. which was at St. Kitts at eight thirty. Yeah. So we got up, ate breakfast, went down there, and then they took us over. And did I meet a subscriber on? I think I met met a subscriber. Hey girl, if you watching, I forgot her. No, she never Where gave me her name. Donna? No, Donna. Oh, hey Donna. Yes, my girl Donna. We've been running into each other on the ship, like the on ship, and on off. Ship, yeah. Yes, she. Now she first seen Cleveland a couple days ago in when the he, elevator. In the elevator. Yeah, I was running to get some snacks or some water uh -huh. or something from the uh, buffet from Windjammers and I she I got in the elevator and then somebody pushed me on my shoulder. <laughs> It's like, I know you was like, is Javon here? I said, we'll probably run into you, and of course we did. We short, ran into her. Time. She was in during the Michael Jackson um, oh, yeah. thing.
then we ran into another subscriber, her and her son. We were actually in the line at the uh, cafe. Yeah, Cleveland yeah, was getting some doggone cake. Right. <laughs> some cake and some tea. That's yeah. that's what I eat most of the time when I'm on these ships. Mm -hmm. We was just standing in line. I don't. She didn't see you. She at didn't first, see me because she was kind of back. She mm -hmm. really wasn't about to get anything. Yeah. And then somebody pushed me on my shoulder. You're right. Again. Well, pushing you. Right. Like, somebody like, pushed me. Like, pushing my baby on his shoulder. She was like, Hey. I'm like, Hey. <laughs> Right. I was like, I know you too. Like, I know you from somewhere. I was like, where? So I'm looking yeah. like, mm -hmm. right. Say like, mm -hmm. I'm like, where? She was like, I work with you. So I'm like, nah. Cause she thought that I was somebody from her job. So I, I turned around and then she was just looking at him. Yeah, the wheels were spinning. She yeah, was cause she was trying to figure out where yeah. she knew him from. Yeah, and where she knew us. And then she, she, she was so like, she turned to me. She was like, yeah. oh, Japan. Yeah. <laughs> and then she put two and two together. Yeah. She just funny. didn't re remember where she knew me from. Yeah, she, she knew she knew me. Moving on to St. Kitts, we didn't spend any time in St. Kitts. Like we didn't tour St. Kitts. We just went straight over to Neves which mm. took us about 30 minutes to get over to that island mm. by the ferry. I was talking about Cookie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Cookie was hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cookie he was, was cool. hype, yeah. His personality and I was cool. telling them I was glad we got on the, the open, the open the uh, vehicle yeah. instead of the air conditioning. Oh, the natural springs. How did you, cause you did it more than I did it. Yeah, it feel good. Like I said, yeah. it's obviously it's something with the spring, like the minerals in the water. Cause it's, I don't say it felt minty, <laughs> but you know it's hot from because mm -hmm. it's the spring it was like i forgot the degrees it was in the hundreds mm -hmm. but it felt good after you got out so i'm pretty sure if you sit in there for a while it'll have some type of medicinal you know medicinal purposes i would like to do that again off tour so you won't be so rushed mm -hmm. as soon as we stepped off they had a basket of uh cloths there was a lady and her daughter giving out tiles that was a, probably their little side hustle or whatever mm. as soon as we stepped off they had a basket of uh cloths not tiles it was a dollar so cleveland only had 20s i forgot to get um cash he she got the cash always i always do. forget i I, yeah. I just forgot but he always carried cash um it was a dollar just in the bottom of this purse like dang i only got one dollar but we needed two she didn't have change for a 20. she was like you know just give me the dollar um what she say uh maybe next time maybe next like time that. i felt so bad i was <laughs> like no so we just gave her the freaking 20. <laughs> yeah because i didn't think about it I yeah was trying to get changed and yeah because he no you wanted to get changed for cookie yeah i wanted to make sure i yeah, had enough for it to tip yeah, cookie because i have a end. lot of cash so yeah because we've been 20. spending it so we just gave her the 20 and then you gave cookie the other 20. yeah like that cookie dude everybody loved him because he driving everybody, all the kids, like cooking, yes. waving to him. Like everybody. walking down the street, yeah, all, all the people from the people restaurants. People beeping horns yeah, when they was passing them. Yeah, so. But it seemed like that's the vibe there. Like yeah. everybody, yeah. you know, is cool with everybody or whatever. Yeah, it's like everybody family or something. It seemed yeah. like everybody was nice there, so. We ate at the restaurant and that's where we met the young lady. I don't want to butcher her name. It was a pretty name. I don't want to butcher it. Nayasa. That's pretty. But we met her and her mother. So we were done eating. She was our waiter. Yeah. So I was like, I got, I want to tip her. I, I, I got to tip her. This was before big. we knew she even knew we were you. She didn't say nothing. She, didn't she say was nothing. shy. She gave us. She the didn't menus, give no kind of and you know because sometimes indication at all. Indication yeah. at all. Cause you know, sometimes when we see people out and they don't want to say something, you can just kind of tell they yeah, just keep, keep looking, looking at you, looking at you, and then like, just uh, smiling, yeah. and then they just wave or whatever, or whatever. Like, hey, yeah, cause sometimes like, I just I wave, know. and you know, yeah. I make the the first move. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like I make the first move because I can just tell. I just wave, and then that's when they kind of warm up, and then they'll wave or whatever. Yeah. Maybe come over and talk. The food was free. No, it wasn't it free, but it came with the tour, the price of the tour. So. At that point, we didn't have any cash left, right? No. Yeah. yeah I didn't have oh, cash. yeah, because you was going to give the 20, the 20 to, cookie. to cookie. I was trying yeah. to hold that 20 for cookie. So. Right. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, what I'm about to do, like, yeah, you can order extra. Outside of what outside, came inside the excursion right. or whatever you want to call it. The food was excellent. Yeah, the it was, food it was, was fresh. so freaking good. Yeah, that fish. Everything was, was good. That fish was just caught local. Yes. You could tell it had no fishy tail. It was super fresh. Mm -hmm. It was just like when we was in Clearwater, we caught the fish, mm -hmm. it took it, cleaned it, cooked it. it it tastes yeah. like butter. That's what they <laughs> fish taste like. And the old, and the, uh, we were sitting with this other uh, family, and their grandmother kept saying, "What she kept saying? It keeps melting. Yeah, she kept yeah, saying yeah. something. It just yeah, melts." It was so tender and fresh. <laughs> okay, so what I'm about to do is order 
extra and then I can use my card and then I can you leave a tip yeah. that way. So that's what I did. So the, her mother came over and they didn't say nothing. I don't even think she had told her mother yet. No. Everybody else was pretty much gone. So after... Yeah, everybody was gone. They yeah. went to the beach, which is us yeah. too. So, so the beach was like across stuff. the road. The mom comes back over and was like, are y'all YouTubers? My daughter watching on YouTube, but she too shy. Come over. And so as soon as she said my daughter, we knew exactly who it was and Cleveland was like, what? Right. Tell her about to get over here. She so she came over, over there and gave us our menus. Took our she orders, was, yeah, that whole time. Right. The mom was telling that she was real shy, whatever. She wanted to do YouTube. And, you know, she got her working there because she wants her to get out in the world and start. She's in 11th grade and she wants to move to the U.S. Her sister lives in Orlando. Mm. So she wants to come here where, in Orlando to yeah. um, attend college. Yeah. So her mom is trying to get her out there to open her up, <laughs> you know, for the world, you know, so. She said she wanted to be a flight attendant. Mm-hmm, she yeah. did, she so, did. Cause she liked to travel, so. Yeah, I was telling her that I wanted to leave her a tip. Oh, and her mom was like, no, don't leave it there. I think they was on some type of percentage thing. Where yeah, she was like, she won't get all it. She was like, they gonna take. everybody Yeah, she was so. like, they gonna get most of it. Hey, well, we don't have no cash, that's why we did this. And she was like, well, it's an ATM at the Four Seasons. Yeah. So we got started talking about uh, vlogging and stuff. You know, they, she was interested in, you know, learning about that you know how we get paid and all of that from vlogging and um she was like well you can go over to the four seasons and vlog and um she was like it's beautiful in there she works there too it's right down the road there right right it's right yeah. on the beach yeah it's we right off anyway. of the beach yeah, yeah where we were going anyway which yeah. we didn't end up going to because we was hanging with them which we didn't even care because it's funny because I wasn't, we wasn't planning on caring about going to the beach. We didn't even pack bathing suits or anything. No. So I was like, I really, I just really wanted the tour of the island. Mm -hmm. I'm done with the beach now. We went to the beach the first day, it was the first couple days. Yeah. I'm done now. <laughs> God be just like mm -hmm. working stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and then when you, you look back, like. Yeah. So her, her mom basically gave us another local tour. Mm -hmm. right. telling us everything. We got in her car talking. and everything. She right. was like, okay, well, I'm gonna, she told her, um, the people at the restaurant, she was like, I'm about to tell. Okay, wait, friend, we yeah, got to tell them yeah, why the we came why that back. The reason why I is because we got to the Four Seasons and the security was mm -hmm. like, yeah, they can't use the ATM unless they're either staying here or going to a restaurant or spending mm -hmm. some money or something. Which is understandable. Yeah. We didn't, you know, we understood. But they she was like, it's another ATM down on the corner there. So we yeah. were just going to walk the, you know, so we just going to walk back down there and go yeah. to the ATM. So she went, but she was like, why well, me go back? Let me go back and tell my mother that we can't use that ATM and we go on to another one. So yeah. her mom was like, man, cause like I said, she worked there. She was like, man, y'all should have been able to use. She was like, I'm going to take y'all over there. Right. So, cause she wanted, to, she really wanted, we could have went to the ATM. Yeah, I seen she, the ATM she on the corner. Vlog the property yeah, she wanted like us that. to get some footage since yeah. she knew we were vloggers of the Four Seasons. Cause it's yeah. absolutely stunning. Yeah. Like I actually, I literally want to go back. Cause we got one in Orlando. I don't know if it's it's probably that nice, but it's yeah, different. It's, it hits different when you're in another country, it, it right? Don't have the vibe. <laughs> right. It don't yeah, have the it's not vibe. gonna have it's the just like vibe. regular old four seasons city yeah. type stuff. It's yeah, like, I don't have that tropical type deal. Yeah, so she toured and gave us a tour of the place and everything. So she was on some of the private villas. And if I seen a sign, you know, how to de say deer crossing, but it said monkey crossing. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, is that for real? Like, it's monkeys just be running around? She's like, yeah, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she said that, we turned the corner and there was a monkey right there. And mm -hmm. started, I thought they were going to be little. Nah, that fool was big. Because when we got off of the ship, it was some guys standing there yeah. with some small monkeys some so babies. you can take pictures with. So I'm thinking that they were going to be like that. I should have took a picture with one. Yeah. Yeah, I, it was a little. It's it was be like, like monkeys. Dang, we seen it was like that. Baby. Yeah, it was like the little baby ones with a diaper on. But the one we yeah, seen, yeah, he was big. Was his like, tail yeah, was long was, yeah, was, Did y'all see like the the volcano? Y'all, they had an excursion where you can hike up that volcano. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, I wouldn't. It, was, it said strenuous. So like, yeah, I wasn't gonna book it because they said it is very very strenuous. Yeah. I wasn't about to be sitting back there. Well, like, Cookie told us they said it's like ropes. You gotta like it's oh, so yeah, you gotta yeah a lot of it's so steep. You gotta like use ropes to even mm -hmm. get up a lot of it like ain't nobody about to be uh, like mm -mm. yeah so even if i was in better shape i don't know i think i'd be scared of falling that's what he said you know a lot of saying? people were scared so they yeah. kind of made it a little safer but he said it's still ridiculous trying to get up there yeah he went up it 
three times he yeah, said? Yeah, he said three times. Then he broke mm-hmm. his hip on a yeah, motorcycle. Yeah, that's why he fall, missed. Like, I don't know if y'all motorcycle. seen when he was walking. Yeah. I don't think we got him when he was walking, but I, he got I, I recorded him a lot when he was doing an introduction to... I like, know, but he wasn't walking. He was. was he was oh. walking back and forth, but yeah, I don't he know. Got, he he said he got a... Um, he got rods and pins rods, and all that yeah. in his hips and stuff. Yeah, he uh, was so. in a motorcycle accident. After she dropped this back off at the beach, hold on. Hey, we talking a lot. She dropped this back off. She went back to work. Well, they went back to work, and then yeah. we walked right up the road to the beach. And yeah. by that time, it was time for us to go. Yeah. But like I said, we didn't care. We we walked down to the beach, you know, just to see it or whatever. Yeah. And like I said, it was time to go, so we went back up, and we and he was late anyway. Yeah, cook, 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 he, he was, was late. Right, he was about ten minutes late, late and yeah, he go uh, ride up talking about, about some. Uh, well, just right on time. Right. He, just, he, had, he had this little mic. He yeah. Did, uh, through the bus or whatever but so while we was waiting on him we picked up those pina coladas it was a bar right mm-hmm. there on the beach so. and i seen this one lady the lady that we were sitting with at the uh, restaurant she had one it looked so creamy and good yeah. i think i asked her what was it and she said a pina colada and i said babe go get us one yeah, <laughs> and he went over there and man that yeah, was the best roasted coconut yeah um, and they, they, they sprinkled in there but that was the best pina colada i I've seen him making it it was a it was already a pre-made mixture he just put the oh. alcohol in it Mm-hmm. Mixed it all up in the blender thing okay. after he put the alcohol in the mixture, and then that he put the coconut stuff in after. Uh, and then the roasted coconut on top just added that extra layer, layer of flavor. flavor. Yeah, it, man, it was so good. I want another one. And you yeah. know, I don't usually drink all of my drink when I get it, I give it to Cleo when he finished it off. But he wasn't getting that. I drank it all. I was, <laughs> yeah. And like I said, he don't like um, or he don't care for uh, frozen drinks no. and especially like milky drinks. And if he said it was good, it was, it was good. Yeah. So we'll pick y'all back up later. Thanks for watching. I know we was a little long winded right now, but some of y'all like to hear this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what we we would do, like when we go on cruises and experience new islands and new countries or whatever. We'll sit down and give you both of our share, both of our, because you're never in it. Like when I sometimes yeah. I do come, on, but Cleveland, you never get his side of it so we're gonna start doing that more often you know at the end of the video or whatever to give us our little opinions and thoughts and whatever so yeah that's gonna be the end of this vlog we'll pick y'all back up later like i said today is a c day so we're just gonna be you know just out here <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching and we'll see y'all in the next vlog <laughs>